Hello friends, welcome to Food for Soul. I am Ishita and today we are making Kathal Biryani. Kathal or jackfruit has the texture of meat and it is a very good substitute for the vegetarians that can be used instead of meat. If you are a jackfruit lover, this is one recipe you cannot miss. So let's see how to make jackfruit biryani or kathal ki biryani. I have cut the raw jackfruit into chunks. You can serve each piece as an individual portion. I have washed and soaked 500 grams of basmati rice in water for 30 minutes. This is homemade Kolkata style biryani masala. You will find the link in the comment section how to make this masala at home. In 1.5 liter of water, I will add half teaspoon turmeric and 1 teaspoon salt. Then I will add the jackfruit chunks and let it cook till it is 80% done. It should not be mushy. While the jackfruit is cooking, let us make birista for biryani. For that, I have heat 250 gram of oil and in that, I will deep fry 4 large thinly sliced onions. One important tip, take out the fried onions when they are just golden because as the fried onions cools down, it will become dark in color. If we fry them longer, it will become bitter. The birista has cooled down completely and see how dark it looks. Now I will divide the birista into two portions. One third for garnish and two third birista for gravy. The jackfruits are 80% cooked. You can see I can put the knife through them. But this needs to be cooked more which we will later cook in the gravy and in dum. Defry the jackfruits in hot oil till they get a slight golden color on them. The jackfruit pieces are nicely done. Now let's make the gravy for biryani. I will add 2 tablespoons of ginger paste and 1 tablespoon of garlic paste in hot oil and cook till the raw smells go away. Then I will add 2 thirds of the birista or fried onions and cook it for 5 minutes on medium flame. Now add the dry masala. 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 tablespoon of red chili powder, 1 tablespoon salt and 1 teaspoon of cumin powder. I will also add half cup of water to prevent the spices from burning. Cook this on medium flame for 4 to 5 minutes. Then add 5 tablespoon of curd. Keep the flame low while adding the curd. Cook on medium to low flame till the oil separates from the spices. Add half teaspoon of sugar to balance the sourness of curd. Now add the fried jackfruit pieces. Add 1 cup of water and let the jackfruit pieces cook completely. Now add 1 tablespoon of homemade biryani masala. Add 1 teaspoon of keura water. Let us cook the rice now. In 2 liters of water, I will add 1 tablespoon of salt and 5 to 6 cinnamon sticks, 5 green cardamoms and 5 to 6 
cloves let the water come to a boil and then i will add the soaked rice at this point we have to be careful and see that the rice is cooked only two thirds because the rest we will cook in the dum. Let us start layering the biryani now. First I will add one tablespoon of ghee and spread it across the karhai. Then I will add half of the cooked rice. Sprinkle two three pinch of the homemade biryani masala. Then add 3 tablespoon of saffron soaked milk which I had prepared earlier. Now I will add the jackfruit masala. Spread the gravy evenly on the rice. After that, I will spread 2 tablespoon of birista or fried onions and 3 tablespoon of saffron milk. Now add the remaining rice on top of the jackfruit. Again, sprinkle 2-3 pinch of homemade biryani masala. Then spread the remaining saffron milk. I have taken half cup of boiled water from rice and to that I have added 1 tablespoon of kiura water. Now I will sprinkle this water all over the rice. Use all the water as it will help while we are giving them to the biryani. Now evenly spread 2 tablespoon of ghee. and garnish with the remaining birista or fried onion. Cover the kadhai with the aluminium foil. Secure it tightly so that the steam cannot escape. Cook on them on high flame for the first 3 minutes. Then lower the flame to the lowest point and cook on them for 7 minutes. The moment of truth is here. Our kathal biryani is ready. Let us serve the biryani. If you have liked my recipe, please share it with your friends and leave a comment. I would love to hear from you all.